like to talk about myself that much because I feel like there's not much to say. My childhood, well, let me put it this way. I woke up in a garbage bin age five. Yeah, some childhood, huh? I was raised by an Asian guy called Yamato. Then, age 15, I took part in this extreme sports program. It's like a TV show that from hell kind of thing. It's called ball pushing. The idea of the game is you gotta push a ball from one end of this long street to the other. Oh, by the way, uh, there's like trolls, goblins, dinosaurs, zombies, mercenaries, Nazis, robots, and skeletons trying to kill you as you do it. So, yeah, it's a family show. So after a while, won a few belts, won a few trophies, got a few laughs, hit the bottle pretty hard after a while, but yeah, those were the days. After that, I kind of got involved with some work that, well, I'm not particularly proud of. Come on, you fuckers, you want some of this? Trust me when I say, it's not what it looks like. Anyway, after spending two more years ball pushing and in the evenings killing stuff, I got offered a job. Not a very hard job, very simple, paid well, and... <sighs> still haunts me to this day. Wait, I've got to say this line? Yeah, yeah, it'd be funny. People will laugh. Come on, just just try it. I got to do it with the robotic voice? Yeah, that's really funny. Kids love that shit. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> I am pushing a ball down the street. You're probably wondering what the hell does this all have to do with the recent Naruto-hating fascists. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. The day that the attack started... I remember meeting the others. We all had these different ideas of what it was all about and what we were going to do about it. Oh, and uh, one more item I want to discuss before we go off today. Uh, apparently 300 people were killed at a comic book convention today. Aww, that's not super de duper <laughs> I'll laugh it was some Marvel Comics fanboy shooting up the Shonen Jump jerks. Comic book conventions? Pish posh. Nothing worth stealing there, old boy. So, uh, what do you think we should do about it? I say ignore it. It's probably some lunatic going nuts. I agree, old bean. Come on, it's my round. Let's chop chop. I don't know. It sounds a bit serious. Oh, you think everything's serious. You're the poster boy, after all. Shut up, ball pusher. Starting to wish I listened to that guy now. Anyway, when the things started getting a bit more extreme, I decided to myself, all right, enough's enough. My years of ball pushing and shooting things seem to come in handy. Tearing a pipe, what they were calling, uh, well, Shadow Sasuke? Sasuke? How the fuck do you pronounce this shit anyway? Uh, Sasuke? Oh, right, okay. These Shadow Sasuke things? It was a lot of fun. Then came an announcement I really did not like. Turns out Wazul killed DZD. I didn't really care that much, but Wazul was kind of a good friend of mine. I mean, we hung out a bunch of times, got pissed up, had a few laughs, defaced public property. But I kind of felt betrayed that he kind of went on the opposite side. I plan on trying to find him and getting an answer out of him. But Dad will fucking listen to me though. He's got the IQ of a walnut after all. I personally think this war is really, really fucking petty and stupid. I mean, can you imagine people arguing and hating on someone for disagreeing with them? Of course, I can think of a few already. <coughs> gamer fans. My name is Ball Pusher, and I'm fighting this war because, well, I like to fucking kill things. Low, 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 penis, low, 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 fag, 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 low, low, low. Man, that's gonna haunt me for years, I know it. Ra-ta-ta-ta, kittens and marmalade.